Hey guys, and welcome to What's Up Jude. Hi guys. Hello. And welcome to this new episode of What's Up Jude. Uh, we hope everything is doing all right for you. And yeah. I'm uh, just super hope, happy. Yeah, we hope you're okay. And so today's episode is about social media. Uh, so we will really want to talk about this because it's a huge part of our daily life and we have plenty things to say and we we've already talked about it in a few episodes but uh, you know this episode is just about it so we have a lot of things to, to say um also um so because we have a lot of things maybe it will be longer maybe not we don't know um <laughs> so yeah have you got anything to say alex um just we made an ig so go check that out that's <laughs> it and yeah. also i really like the setup today um yeah we you are can't on... see but uh, her room is colorful yeah it's really beautiful so that's that is that is what i had to say <laughs> so we can okay, start <laughs> also thank you for listening every time we we're super happy and grateful for you thank yeah. you <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's start and so alex tell us about how did you start to get social media to get into social media word and yeah Okay, so personally, I would say that I started when I was 13 years old, which like, when I look back, it is it was really young to get social media. And um, my first social media was Instagram. So I think most of the people who had social media were using Facebook and Snapchat before IG, but I didn't have those because I didn't, you know, feel the urge to have social media. And actually, <laughs> I did download IG because I was obsessed with one particular show. And the first thing that came to my mind was, oh, so what if I can interact with these people, but in real life, just to know more about them. So I downloaded the app and I'm still on it right now. So that is crazy. And actually, I didn't, at first, it wasn't to, to be in touch with my friends because when I was 13, I was like going out, you know, the world was, was not the same. So yeah. And it was more to follow some artists that I was watching on YouTube sometimes, but also on the TV. And also I wanted to be clear here, when I talk about social media, I don't talk about, um, Netflix, YouTube or. I don't know. I really talk about like IG, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and I guess TikTok now. So that would be my, the first approach that I had with social media. And what about you? Um, well, first and foremost, um, I think you're right. It's important to cl clarify what is social media for you, because I think it's Maybe there is a real definition, but um, for me, as you said, uh, it includes Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, but maybe YouTube because, you know, sometimes you have recommendation, yeah. but def definitely not uh, Netflix because uh, it's like TV, you know, and you choose what you want to see. Even uh, if you have recommendation because on yeah. your last watch show, yeah. Yeah, sure, but you, well, you will spend less time, I think. Because it has a, a limited time. Yeah. Uh, and, well, on YouTube, it can be really... Yeah, long. I know. Not where I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> my first social media was Facebook. And I was, I was young. I was maybe nine or ten. Nine uh yeah but just let me explain i used uh, my father's computer 
So I went on Facebook, on Facebook, sorry, once a day. But it was not for face what we know Facebook, you know, it was not just to talk to my friend or anything. It was just to play games. <laughs> and you know, I I think I play I played two games. Uh one where <clears throat> sorry. One where you had to look after a farm. Uh, and it was funny, you know, I lived in a uh, countryside, so yeah and my best friend had a, a farm so anyway and um another game uh where you had to solve investigation by finding clues kind of modern child comes uh <laughs> and it was cool because i played with my sister so i was just for that you know and after i was a kid so i played in real life and that was so much fun but uh i think i was just like you i really started or started uh social media when i was 12 or probably 13. uh i had snapchat that was my real first social media um you know with friends yeah um and i watched also a lot of youtube videos at 14 something like that and when i went to high school that was the beginning you know i created my own instagram and then you know everybody talked about twitter and i was like what, what is, is that this? yeah what is so famous you know and so i created my own twitter and it was funny you know some good things and i met people good people with um the same in passion passion yeah, passion yeah but uh like if like one year ago yeah i really want wanted to take a distance from it so i deleted my twitter and snapchat account because it was i think it was too toxic for me because i spent too much time on it and you know i just uh read twitter all day long and never forget for example just send a message to my friend and i was like this is not normal so like just... the the fact that you had uh this power in in a way to mm -hmm. distance yourself is really great because like you're having control of yourself right now yeah so and that's... especially and the first time I realized, so it was Twitter. The beginning was Twitter. Uh, Snapchat a little bit, but more Twitter. That was the beginning because um, you have all the information in a minute with Twitter, you know, the hashtag. Mm. And so um, that was when Donald Trump, um, you know, there there was there was some tension with um, uh, China. And yeah. And we talked about a uh, third world war and oh, you know, I remember I, that. <laughs> yeah. And I was not in a good mood and I was like, okay, so why, like, why am I going on Twitter if after I'm not in good mood, you know? Yeah. So I just deleted because it was not the first time. And, um, then the pandemic came and snapchat i don't know just snapchat was during my middle school and now and now i i, I was at college you know it was like f six years uh six years be between the f the time i created my snapchat and when i realized that i didn't need it you like i i don't need to know where and what my friend are that's, doing. That's why I, I never understood about Snapchat is that um, when I was in middle school, I was like, why do you guys want to download this app if we can text mm. over WhatsApp and asking like, what are you doing? Or do you mm. want to go out? And many people were like, so why don't you download that? And I was like, I don't want it. They're, they're like, so how, how, how are you going to live? And I'm like, yeah like the usual, you mm. know, uh, gonna and, wake up, do my thing. 
and I think we we were quite young. So on Snapchat, you have um, oh my god, I can't remember the name in English. I can't tell you. I don't even know. Like I do remember. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about because I don't even know uh, it works. People were giving me their phone, and I was like, "How do you do that?" <laughs> it's like um, you know, fire. Um, yeah, we call that uh, les flammes. Yeah, flame. I don't think so. <laughs> I think flame. Yeah, flame. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway, you have a... the little fire emoji. Yeah, and um, and more you send um Snapchat every day. Mm. More, uh, you know, it's like a sign of what your friendship looks like. Yeah, and I think sometimes it was really tricky because, you know, if you don't send Snapchat w once, you, you lost everything. And yeah, anyway, that was just um... like this doesn't define your friendships. Yeah. I I think at the at the beginning, people wanted to make this like a game, so that's why mm -hmm. it was entertaining. But at the end, it's really like take take control over mm. what, your actions. So mm. yeah, I have another question regarding this topic. It is uh, since we were on social media uh, since a, a young age, what changing have what changes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you like noted and what what are your feelings towards these changes that is not clear but yeah I, I can understand um I think like it's been a decade something like that that social media really impact yeah. uh, impacts our life um and a lot of changes obviously happen uh for in the, the worst part um i would say that maybe we tend to identify too much with this uh, social media like as i was saying we don't we do not take time to just text uh, our friend because we are in a for example private story and like we still oh, okay so they cooked uh, today and i think yeah. since you can see everyone like what everyone is doing you don't even bother yourself yeah. to ask since yeah. you can see it you're like yeah. okay she was doing that at 10 p.m she was doing that at four yeah you you don't uh looking for information because information is coming uh, directly to you yeah and so yeah i will say that is the worst part because um you can think you have a lot of friends um and then when you have a step back or social detox for example you realize that no, that was not friend. Just people who likes who like sorry your photos, uh, your pictures, and that's it. Um, but it's a good way to share and to meet people who yeah, are not of course. necessarily in the same country yeah. as you. But you can have real uh, friendship. But um, yeah, for the best part, that will I would say that first you can create friendship. Um, and then also you can, nowadays you can create so much more. You can even create your, um, job. Yeah. Your, your company, your. That's location. amazing. Yeah. That you can share and that's incredible. So yeah. Like what about you? From my point of view, it has definitely changed, uh, in a good, but also in a bad way and in a good way, because as you said, people can connect throughout through the world throughout the day <laughs> but in a bad way because sometimes uh, some apps not gonna say the name actually but um they design new options that doesn't have anything to do with the actual system of the app like okay i said i say i wasn't <laughs> going to give a name but ig for example um they put this option like where you can buy things oh yeah and I'm like, why do, why did, why did you put that? Like, no one is going. Well, not not no one, but personally, I won't buy anything on IG. Yeah, that was not the begin. Like, we can last the goals of uh, why we created Instagram, for example, and 
I think that's kind of sad. And also, IG, I know that,、um, I don't know when it was, maybe in 2015, I don't even know. Like, they did a radical change in their, in their presentation and how the app was going to grow. And I was like, I don't even like that. I even thought about delete, deleting the app because I was like, this is not what I signed up to.、Mm. When I first got IG, it was, it, I don't know how to describe it, but it was like this little box, you know, and、mm. people were sharing people. And now every, every week you have a new upgrade. I don't, I don't say it is, an, it, it is bad, but sometimes it is unnecessary. That, that is my point. Okay. I, I, I can relate sometimes. I'm not mad, guys. <laughs> I'm just sharing my opinion. <laughs> okay. So, another question would be、uh, Was there a time where you, feel, where you felt sorry, overwhelmed by the social media? I know your answer, you know, but、mm, okay. I think the listeners want to know what you are thinking. Okay, so I think they know too, but anyway. Yeah, if you,、um, <laughs> if you listen to the other episodes, I think you probably know. Yeah. So, it's my, in my opinion, it's more by period.、Uh, I mean, sometimes I, I'm really creative and have a lot of ideas for social media, and it can be really a sor- source of inspiration. And yeah, just.、Uh, You can share. So, if if you're creative, that just sounds good. And, but sometimes I, yeah, I feel overwhelmed by social media. And I think, you know, it's okay to feel this way because, like, it's been a decade, as I was saying. Everything is changing. Yeah. And just work, like you and, are changing.、Yeah. Exactly. And so sometimes, yeah, I, Just feel it's the time to like kind of reprogram my behavior.、Um, like start from the beginning. Yeah, just to know why I'm going on social media. Yeah. And not、uh, living for social media. Like well, living, you have a living, purpose. Yeah. yeah. Living, living, it's a big word, but you, you, you understand. I did.、Um, So, I told you that I already did a、um, social detox for almost three months.、Uh, just had YouTube and Netflix. So, YouTube, okay, but it was really, <laughs> <laughs> but it was really like a one hour per day, not even more. Um, that was, so, that was pretty insane because often people don't understand and say, just reduce your screen time. It's gonna be okay. But you live in a world where, like, you have to be on your phone or your computer every, every time. Yeah, every time, and especially right now because online classes. And, like, I hate when people say that, you know, just read it's your time. But when you watch them, they're like always on, on their phone.、Mm. And, and that's the difficult part of social detox is that. People are not with you. So sometimes they say, oh, okay, just、uh, wait a sec. I'm going to take a story or anything like that. And it it、um, breaks something. It breaks something. Between you and that person when you are supposed to hang out and. Yeah, not a... necessarily the person, but、oh, okay. in the moment, you know.、Uh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. like, it's like、okay. you want to stop the time just to picture that and then. Like you, you click play. Yeah. Yeah. I... And you feel like we're not doing, doing this to share a、um, story, you know, just to hang out without even, you know, people don't have to know it's, it's、uh, just a friendship or relationship,、like、whatever. You, you want, like, what you mean is like people don't necessarily need to know what you are doing at a specific moment, right? Yeah. Okay. And so, yeah, sometimes people don't understand why a social detox, but I, I want to say, like, why not? Because, <laughs> like, why as, not? As I was saying, we're, we're, we're young and we're on 
a computer or phone like seven hours per day because of our studies or anything so like why not just um so that was my reason uh during these three months um i took the time to rediscover myself my hobbies and the basics you know um honestly that was i want to say perfect but you know perfect is beautiful word um but it was good because it was during summer break after a hard time in 2020 and just you know perfect for um beginning of a new academic year like the fact that i don't even remember that you took a social detox yeah in that's weird months. because i don't know like i don't even remember that time uh it was uh after my job um yeah it was really yeah hard but we were still talking and i didn't f fe yeah. felt like we were distancing because uh, you weren't on social media yeah because we were truly friends <laughs> but yeah uh, or maybe I, I just to... forgot some. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to uh, to tell you that I lost a few friends because of, of this social detox. Well, friends, they were not really friends because, you know, if you talk only by stories, well, you know, it's yeah. uh, not really friendship. Anyway, so why did I come back? You can ask. Um... <laughs> the comeback. <laughs> It was not necessarily like a desire, but I have an Instagram account where I post travel pictures. Beautiful I... pictures, by the way. Thank you. And I wanted to communicate again with people who share the same love for traveling. And even if they are not my friends, you know, it, it, it really can be cool. And you can discover new places and you practice languages and that's cool. So at the beginning, I went on Instagram every three or four days. And now it's more like three or four times per day. Uh, because, oh, yeah, has social, changed. Okay. Yeah, so, social media is designed to attract us, you know. So it's hard to take a social detox because you think you're, you're going to miss something. That's... Uh, the fear of missing is something... Yeah, the formal one. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. Fe fear. We've talked about that. Yeah. Fear of missing out, something like that. Yeah. Anyway, um, well, just let me tell you, you won't Don't miss anything. Yeah, you won't, uh, because if you like, for example, music, you, you can check. You know, we did talk about check. that. Yeah. Yeah, we, we already talked. But anyway, uh, I also noticed now something crazy about taking distance from social networks silence and i love silence you know i can eat in silence and that's okay you know for example when on zoom on online classes <laughs> there is a silence i don't care you know i'm like okay that's cool but i know people are not always comfortable with that i'm like when there is a silence in class <laughs> i'm like oh my god <laughs> what do we do now guys what do we do now and there is me who is like okay, okay. Sounds good. <laughs> but sometimes, just a little, you know, a little, uh, not story time, but yeah. Sometimes you're like not listening to the class and suddenly yeah. the, the class is going blank and you're like, did the teacher say something? Did we so have you're something? like, you can't even, you can't even see my facial expression, but I'm like. <laughs> you, you're panic, you know, panic. Panic. Time. Yeah. So and going you, back to what so, you were saying. Uh, silence, um, not just uh, with notifications, but also in your head, because on social media, we see a lot of things, you know, and sometimes you find you can't. You overthink things? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm this kind of person who overthink um, for many things. And when I see something on social media, bam, it's here again. Um, so I remember that most of these voices disappear when I quit social media for a while. Voice, sorry. <laughs> but that was cool, you know, just, um, like me, myself and I, if I can mm. say that, like that. Anyway. Not in a uh, selfish way, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, what about you? I think like everyone I did, I did felt overwhelmed, you know, yeah. and, um... But 
Yeah. Were you were you strong to get a social detox? I did, but yeah. not like we were not friends at the time because it was uh, in the in middle school, Ooh. third third year of middle school, and I was like, mm -hmm. I'm getting sick of it. I'm gonna you know log out, delay the app, do my thing, and like when I went back to IG, I was like. I can choose whatever I want to see and whatever I want to feel when I see pictures. And like, you need to understand that when you like, when you understand this concept, like the fact that you can see and choose, especially choose whatever you want, everything is going to get better because sometimes we see, I don't know, uh, bad things happening in the world, for example like bombing in you know yeah wars and things like that and personally i get really touched about those th things so i was like i'm gonna unfollow this account simple you know and i don't know like going on social media for me is it's like a bubble when i go on there it's because i want to feel safe not Okay, safe is a big word, you know, but I want to feel peaceful in a way. Is that even, people can understand what I'm saying yeah, right yeah, now. Okay. And um, so you need to often ask this question, is this question, sorry, is the content I'm seeing is making me feel happy or sad or even triggered, you know? And that is a question that I often ask to myself right now, nowadays, because Sometimes I like do, I do treat, okay, that's weird to say, but I do treat um, accounts like clothes, closes. When I don't want them, I get rid of them. Yeah, okay. But, but I think that's, that's good, you know, because I didn't do it. And that's why I quit Twitter because. I think Twitter is another thing because. Yeah. Um, like I recently got Twitter. Um, but it was again, it was again because of, uh, you know, uh, actress and singers. Yeah. So it, I don't, okay. <laughs> I don't necessarily th see the, what is happening in the world because I'm in a, another world. Yeah. I, yeah. But I think, uh, you will always know, you know, the yeah. big things. I will always know, but I won't necessarily see it. And for example, Twitter, yeah. I don't even... I do go on Twitter when someone is sending me a link, not because, mm. not mm, yeah. by myself, just like mm. IG, you know, but yeah, like you need to ask you guys these questions, do the content I'm seeing or the content, the content that my brain is absorbing, how it makes me feel, you know? Yeah. So yeah, that's how I feel about uh, the social media. So have you got any tip? The tip, the tip will be choose carefully what you want to see, honestly, just like everything in life, like, but not, okay. Not in a way that you completely block yourself from negative things because that's, that can be dangerous. And also you need to be aware of what is going on in the world, especially for example, with violences, you need to be aware, but you don't necessarily need to see that every time you go on your social media. Yeah. It's like uh, watching the news. Sometimes I do feel overwhelmed by watching the news. And Leslie told me, like, don't watch it like for a month, you know. You still got your parents to tell you what is going on, yeah. you know. Because um, I tend to, uh, I'm someone who really, you know, overthinks things sometimes. And I'm like, I, I'm really getting touched about what I'm seeing. So I need to focus on myself sometimes and and saying like okay that's enough i need to log out i need to turn off the tv i need to turn off my computer i need to be connected again with myself so yeah, that's yeah and i think it's even more important during the pandemic because uh, for example my mom gets notification on her phone and she so she's aware of um, the number of cases every day like every day she knows how much people get touched by the coronavirus and this oh. is so, so stressful i mean yeah and and i can't you know because 
I hate notification. I need to say that. Yeah, like I hate <sighs> notification because like the information is going to you directly directly. And I like when I choose what I want to see. And so sometimes, okay, I take hours to answer back to a message, but that's okay. You know, people are not going to die because uh, you did I not answer late yeah. or something like that. Yeah. And if it's really urgent, they call me or something like that. But um, that's the thing we need to talk to. Yeah. Because but, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Go. Into. Okay, okay, okay. Because I was um, I know that uh, our generation they don't really like calling. And yeah. I do because I do like calling because it is way faster. Like even FaceTiming, that is way faster. I'm like, okay, yeah, got to tell you that's calling. Um, I'm not like this. Well, it depends. It depends of my relation to with. The yeah, age. yeah, not with everyone, of course. But sometimes I'm like, hey, yeah. just you know, go and on. I remember and... when I was in middle school, I spent hours by on the phone, like. I remember once I spent six hours. Six hours the heck? Six, what six were you hours. doing? <laughs> Nothing. We were like this, but just talking. When I was in middle school, uh, my phone, uh, not phone bill, but yeah, the... Mm, yeah. How do you say that? I think that's it, phone bill. Um, okay, so my phone, the thing like you, you pay to get a, you know, a text messages anyway so so my phone contract when i was in middle school was restricted so i had a number of text messages and i had a number of hours to call so i couldn't spend many time on my phone because mm -hmm. it was restricted by month and thanks my dad did that because you know now i know like the real like i needed to send text message when it was really urgent, you know? Mm. I'm like, just, it's the same for me nowadays. Like I just have two hours per month. I don't. <laughs> but I I think I have three numbers, like I can spend hours, Okay. but just two hours for others. When it's okay, you know, I as I told you, I hate to call, so. I do call a lot and I have eliminated uh, hours and I have also eliminated text messages like uh, I think everyone know, but yeah, the only thing I'm restricting on is uh, datas, that's it, mm. but yeah, it's okay, okay because I don't really go out so I don't really use them that often. Anyway, okay. you didn't <laughs> ask me, you didn't ask me, but I will tell my tips. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what is okay. what is your tip then? Okay, so my tip, <laughs> uh, my tip is just to find a balance. Yeah, um, because social media can be a tool, but can also be an addiction. Oh, sorry for that noise. That's okay. It's okay. And um, uh, social media can also be an addiction, even if people had have some difficulties to recognize. Like no, okay, <laughs> I'm I completely can... fine. Yeah, I'm free from my phone. No, you're not. Spend one week without it and you will see. <laughs> like, no. Just like me and my cheese, you know? <laughs> exactly. Okay, so that is my s next question. Can yeah. you, um, Alex, can you live without social media? Or do you wish we can go back to word without social media? So my answer would be no for that. Both okay. of them. <laughs> Both of them because okay. I feel like um we grew up with this, so now it is completely part of yourself. So you can't you like you can, but you can't completely get rid of that. It's like not a personality trait, but it is something it is here, so you can't read get rid of it that easily. And do maybe you can't, but maybe you won't. Uh, maybe, maybe we can. Like, no, I maybe can't. You, you you can't uh, cut off uh, with all these devices, but maybe you want to do it. Oh yeah, but because of the, of the society uh, construction, yeah. you yeah. yeah you can't really do that. So do I wish we can go back to a world without social media? No, honestly, no, because 
sometimes, not sometimes, but now people are doing their job on social media and there are plenty of people behind those people. And if we, if we fire someone, like not fire, but if we shut down the whole thing, millions of people are going to be jobless. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. But <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking. <Blank. laughs> um, well, in my opinion, I wish. Well, first of all, I could live without social media. Yeah, you okay? I think. I don't know. May maybe because like I did for three months, but maybe I could do it for a year. I don't know. A year. But, yeah, a year. Maybe I, not YouTube, you know, YouTube, yeah. YouTube and Netflix forever. But Netflix but, is okay, but YouTube. Yeah. Anyway, uh, but for the things like going back to a world without social media, I think I wish sometimes because I'm kind of fed up. Sorry, but I'm fed up of this people. That is not a bad word, so it's okay to yeah, say but it. I think it's kind of violent you know to say i'm fed up anyway i'm fed up of um these people who always you know have something to prove and that you know i think sometimes uh social media is more like um a window like um a, a storefront yeah yeah uh, yeah you get the idea? in vitrine yeah in i won't cut that out because <laughs> here we're learning some french words Anyway. <laughs> and um so yeah i'm getting sick of these people but okay i need to admit that sometimes and i think every one of us used to use social media like that you know like post yeah. beautiful pictures and anyway so and i think it can be really toxic and we should have class about it when we are young you know, like, yeah. um, even at middle school, um, the problem is if you made a social detox, you know, that people, as I was saying, are not with you with, um, in this experience. So sometimes people around you are on their phone or computer and you're the only one to not, not doing be, it. not, yeah, to, yeah, not, to, not, not to doing, be. <laughs> um, uh, so Okay, another thing, um, often when I watch a movie, I like the fact that characters are not often on their, on their devices, even if it's not uh, the reality, but um, like it's, 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 yeah, on social media, it's not often that you see it uh, on a Netflix movie or series. It's because they have so much, so much things to do. Yeah. They don't even sometimes go to school. They can do whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's why. <laughs> and yeah, that's that's the only reason why. But the problem is it's really hard to quit social media forever because as I, as you said, Alex, um, it's part of our daily life now. I mean, even companies have Instagram and sometimes TikTok. Uh, I'm not... <laughs> because they need to, yeah. like, to adapt to this yeah. world. That's why. Sure. But, um, okay, it just, I'm not... an anti-social no, media not. don't worry guys she's not. um i just think that sometimes we tend to forget what real life is and we think that real life is what we saw on ig or snapchat and you know i saw a post like two days ago and people were like oh so i haven't got many likes likes yeah likes like um my yeah, old yeah, yeah, post yeah. like my other post and it's like okay you're going to survive that's okay you know, you know what and people are buying followers yeah. but you know that some like when and still now mm -hmm. uh i've never thought about this idea of likes because when i do post a photo it's because i like the photo like i think that's weird because like yeah, I don't really care about like sometimes I do go on IG and I don't even like the photos of people. I do I just like look at them. Yeah, and you know what? I post um picture yesterday uh on my Instagram account and 
you know, I was like, I like this picture and like, it's not, you know, the, the typical Instagram picture because it was like a highway when a sunset and it's not like what we, we see on Instagram because we often see like sunsets. Yeah. Sh- yeah. Sunsets and like, um, how can we say that? Like, um, sea and uh, yeah the sea and the skyline yeah and exactly like that. anyway but uh, uh i was like yeah okay but I, I like this photo so i'm going to you know just um post it <laughs> yeah exactly and i said it to my mom this morning i was like hey you know what i just like it and even if it's not the typical instagram picture that's okay and she was like yeah you're right <laughs> anyway, that, that was the my mom doesn't even know about IG. <laughs> really? She she does, but yeah, not just like your mom, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my mom is, you know, my mom. She learns me some some thing on IG, like T- she teaches you. Yeah, it's not like um normally it's like uh, young adults like us who learn to their parents i don't know how to use ig yeah i don't know (laughs) well my mom learned to me learns to me as i can learn to you that's like yeah (laughs) because you guys you know you have to know one thing i'm like i'm really social media and me yeah but that's okay you know i'm only here for the pretty picture and I don't know the covers of mm. music. I'm just here for that. Don't ask me anything about IG. <laughs> okay, you just have one last question. Okay, that's a deep one. Deep okay. one. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Getting prepared to answer okay. to that. Okay. Um, don't you think sometimes we are those who are used? So guys, if you don't know, we did have a class on that (laughs) about capitalism, surveillance. Is that even the word? Surveillance. Surveillance, capitalism, (laughs) sorry. Yeah. And my, okay, my thought on that is that, yes, sometimes we do, we are, sorry, the products and we are watched because like, of course, for the recommendations, like the algorithm, you know, but I think like if we applied the tips that Leslie gave us, which is you need to have a balance and also the tips that I gave you, you need to choose whatever you want. Even if you're being watched, it's okay because the algorithm is going to understand that you want to see a certain type of picture. So yeah, I guess it's okay. And I guess you can't really do anything about it because we're being watched 24 seven by everything that sometimes we don't yeah. even know are watching you or listening to you. Yeah. Sure. Your phone is currently listening to me. Like not your phone, my phone, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my phone is currently listening to me and is like thinking, what the heck is she, is she talking in English? And maybe in a few hours you will see an advertising, uh, for social media. Yeah. Anyway. Or cheese, who knows? Yeah, cheese. You have something with that. If, for example, if I talk about, I don't know, I'm going to talk about, uh, I don't know. I, I have an books. example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, ha- I have an example. Um, we watched um, um, a YouTube video with my brother. Uh, it was something on Harry Potter. And Harry it was Potter? Not- Sorry. Harry Potter. It was not on my phone, right? Uh, my phone was just in the room, just next. The 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 room next door. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, it wasn't it was not on my phone. <laughs> Having troubles today to speak English. Sorry. Uh, we so we watched the the YouTube video, and then like one hour uh, after, I had an advertising about Harry Potter. Uh, that is not scary. Fine. That is scary. It, it was not on my phone, so maybe you know they know that in the same house there are different devices. Yeah. They, yes, know, they do know, of course. 
anyway. So that that was my answer to. And I have I a, a, a good, I have a good quote for this question. I love quotes. Um, <laughs> and as I love Netflix, this quote is from Netflix. Okay. Uh, it's it's Netflix, from. Netflix. If you're hearing us, actually, <laughs> uh, we would like to get a show uh, <laughs> on your platform. So yeah, thank you. Um, so it came from the documentary called Social Dilemma. Uh, so the quote says, if it's free, you are the product. And when I saw that, that, um, documentary, yeah, I was like, yeah, that is true. That's and the... now you need to, to really think about what, like, is that really free or are we using you to get yeah, something? We are the one who are used. Uh, but yeah, because we're talking of social media, you should see this, watch, sorry, the documentary Yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's very interesting and people are not like, they, they know what they're talking about. So because they are from the, those big companies, yeah. that's why. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, when I, when I heard, um, this, I was like, oh, that's deep, but probably true. Um, <laughs> But for example, when you go on YouTube, which is free, right? You just have to create your account, but it's free. Yeah. You watch, you watch one video and then a second one and so on. But you and have I'm... ads. Yeah, but I don't think, you know, you have, there is this, um, if you uh, don't uh, deactivate, <laughs> this, uh, like, uh, you don't cut off the, um, the videos, like what you are like watching? the playlist of the YouTube. No, the YouTube no, you videos. still have ads now. Yeah, I know, but if you don't cut off, yeah, yeah, like okay. it's it, you it's let just, it play. Uh, yeah, and you spend hours on it, and I think it's normal oh, to okay. have, and <laughs> I, I and I think, and I think it's normal to have advertising because, like, for some people, it's their job. Yeah, but so. sometimes it is too much. <laughs> yeah, but on Instagram Can you too, tell I'm really bothered by <laughs> by those ads right now? Yeah, but you have the same on Instagram, just it's not something which pop up pops up. But sometimes you, know? you can't even skip the ads. Anyway. Yeah. But yet yeah, as I said, you need to find a balance with everything because sometimes sometimes as you said, this is the job of some some people. So yeah. Yeah. So I apologize for being mad. No, it's not, ads. it's not, it's uh, not mad. It's just bother, like, bother. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> oh, maybe you can sick of me right now. No, not you. It's just I know. that, uh, we always say like, oh yeah, social media, it's perfect thing. Yeah. But, um, it's so it's like, it's really recent. So you can't tell the consequences but like uh, in 20 years yeah we will know in 20 actually years. in 20 years we're going to make a new podcast called <laughs> the consequences of um be the there. social media <laughs> so hopefully you guys will still be there when we will make this podcast so yeah <laughs> anyway. see you in 20 years <laughs> uh i think maybe we need to end the show yeah I don't even know and how the many. Show, even the, the show, show. Not, not the episode, no, the, the oh show. Oh my God. Yeah. Sorry. That, that is not even a show time. We need to, <laughs> we need to end this episode because it's getting long. So yeah, but I think it's quite interesting. You know, I watched some Ted talk, Ted talks. Yeah. On it. And I like that it's more and more a topic, which is, um, discussed. Hmm. So again, thank you for listening. Thank and you. And hopefully you guys are going to interact about this topic because, you know, it's really important. Yeah, it is important, but see, we're going to again, tell you that we have an IG and that's how we can communicate actually, because we're not close. Like we don't even, we don't know everyone who is listening to us. So yeah. social media is great for that. See, so. Do you have anything to say? Do you want to end the mm. show? <laughs> Ooh, well, to end, I would just 
wish you a good day, good night, a good health, it's important right now, and take the time, you know, just to take care of yourself, and maybe think about all we said, you know, just uh, take a step back of social media, it's okay to not answer back to a text message in the three minutes, so yeah. Yeah, so thank you guys, and see you soon. See you!